Hey guys, Tommy Walton here. What we're doing, what I want to do is do a video of um, probably multiple parts, two, three, maybe four parts in a series to show how I build this swimming pool from start to finish. So let's just get started. What I'm doing here is leveling the area where the pool is going to go behind the house. And so the first thing we need to do is get it, get it to gray, get it level, and then start to establish uh, a parallel line with the house and to um, establish where the edges are, the corners, the back wall. And once we get the back wall figured out where it's gonna go or the deep end, then I can square the sides, which is what we're doing here, we're using the three, four, five method, which is simply uh, to get a square, you know, one leg would be a, a multiples of three in, in any unit, you know, feet, inches, whatever you want. So if you wanna do, five feet it would be 15 20 and 25 and that's how you find um a square and it's really that simple and it's the most accurate way i figured out to do it then you just start digging and <clears throat> here we go we're digging uh the deep end first and on this job there's really not a lot of room so you just kind of have to dig um use the skid steer there you can see it you know it's taking dirt away I'm digging, the skid steer is uh, hauling it away. So, uh, and so here we go, we're just continuing to dig. It's a lot of dirt, it's gotta come out of this thing. Um, just remove dirt, put it in the skid steer, check in measurements, and what you'll see is once we start to get close to where we wanna be, um, roughly, then we're gonna put edge boards up, or form edge form boards along the back wall and then along the two side walls. So, you know, this dirt that I'm digging right here in this particular spot is really hard. So I'm having to dig with the my tooth bucket. You can see right there, I'm starting to do this, the sides, the edges, and the more accurate I am there, and I'm, I'm digging with by string line, the more accurate I, accurate I am in that spot, the better quality of a of the side you know if, if i'm consistent with where and how i dig the walls of the pool the thickness of the walls will be consistent plus if i over dig then it costs money because you have to fill it with either gunite or concrete forms to uh, make up for the mistakes so you don't want to make any mistakes at this point keep it uh, really consistent so it's just you know lots of digging <laughs> moving dirt getting it out of the way uh this little backhoe is an e35 and it's just a game changer with when i bought this machine i was able to uh just do a lot more work i can get in backyards i can get anywhere this this machine and that bucket is really just an extension of my hand honestly uh my guy there he's just standing in the way i have him out here today on this dig pretty much to just kind of watch I mean, and help obviously when we when we need help. But I really want him to to see this process. That guy there, he's a new guy, um, so he's not always working. But that's just the way it is. Not everybody's always working, unfortunately. And here we go. We're just digging, digging the sides. Um, and the bottom of this pool, you know, this soil right here was full of it was full of uh, gravel. So there was a you know there was the risk of i was concerned that the more we would dig if the bottom was gravel then the side walls would start to fall in but luckily we didn't run into that you can see there's just uh we're roughing it out and this pool is 30 uh damn i can't even 37 feet by 15 feet 15 feet I mean it's five and a half feet deep you can see there the gravel at the, at the bottom you'll be able to see the layers of the dirt as we dig down and then you can also see the sideboards the side form boards that that we install to uh to kind of well it's the it's the outer perimeter of the gunite of the pool is what it is so we, we dig everything we establish the shape of the pool what we're doing here is I'm getting a plumb line on the back wall. So 
I'll kind of be shaping the back wall as we go along um, using the level. You just want to dig this pool as good as possible because if you if you just if you dig too much dirt and you remove too much material it's just going to cost you it's going to cost everybody so once i get this uh this line of the back wall figured out and dug correctly then i can use that and dig my way out of the pool from the deep end to the shallow end just the bucket. It's a smooth bucket. It's a four foot wide uh, grading bucket, but it has no teeth. So it's really good at kind of stripping that, that dirt off the back wall and making a, a straight cut edge. It's got side cutters on it. You can see where I've been, you know, digging on the side, cutting the, uh, the sides of the pool. This, this dirt's really hard, really hard to dig, which is good. The dirt is staying right there. So you can kind of see, well this, this could get rather boring, but you can see as I dig deeper, the ground, the dirt is sort of, I'm running into a, a gravel vein is, is what it is. It's really nice gravel actually. Um, and it's kind of good for the bottom line. It's always good to uh, you know, have gravel under concrete. Um, so it's just free gravel. Also trying to get the elevation this far. We we pull a string across the top of these form boards to represent the, the the elevation of the beam of the pool all the way around, with which the travertine tiles later or the coping will attach to. And when I swing over here like this, what's going on is I'm talking to them out of my door. Um, but what I'm trying to do now is get my depth from that string you can see right there at the top. And it's just a simple process of working from the left to the right. Get my depth, you know, two or three feet from the back wall established and just work my way up the hill. And we, we get to a point where we don't use a tape uh, the whole time. That just takes too long. What we do is we, I cut a two by four. Um, a rod that is cut to the exact length from the from that string to the bottom of the dig, including the eight inches of thickness for the gunner of the pool. So I know how deep to dig. So what I'm doing here is, well, I moved the camera, my GoPro, to the excavator. All this is new to me. All the cameras I'm using, all of this. I, I don't have a lot of experience doing it, so I'm just kind of doing it. And right now, I'm using what's called time lapse, I think. Or this is time warp. I use some of each, trying to figure out the best. So it's, um, I don't know the exact speed, but as you can see, it's kind of obviously faster than... Uh, real time but just continuing along digging out of the pool um this is just a roughing in process is what this is uh and i got my guy down there he's in the bottom he's he's telling me how deep to go as i come along you can see the string so now i've i've switched to the tooth bucket because the bottom of the pool is the gravel and it's really smooth easy to dig very easy now we're up towards the center, the top of the pool, um, less deep, and it's back to this hard, almost mortar-like dirt. I mean, this is compacted like, it's insane. So 
you know, you can see there I'm switching my buckets, which by the way, the Bobcat has this uh, hydraulic bucket uh, feature where it allows me to switch that from the cab. Quick attach. That's the best money I've spent on this thing. Um, saves so much time. So there we go. You see I'm kind of digging the walls, digging the corners. We've added our our form board along the top further back. So now we're uh we're uh we're halfway through the shallow end we're using a board to kind of get the angle as we dig this you'll notice the uh, shallow end comes up and then it goes to what they call a baja and so that baja is only eight inches when the water is installed in the pool everything's finished that section of the pool will be eight inches deep and it'll have three bubblers couple of uh, umbrella holders and uh, it'll be really cool. It's like a lounge area and that's what I'm digging now, right now with the smooth bucket. So now it's just a matter of figuring out how to get the dirt out the most efficient way, where to put it. So I can put the machine to finish digging, but you can see there I'm digging the edge wall right now. And now this part of the video, you can see I basically finish the rough digging so we're we've, we've pretty much put the edge forms up all the way around the pool we've got the pool dug i got my guys here to help with uh rebar plumbing we're at that stage of the game now the dirt is basically all gone and so what these guys are doing they're checking uh square because now is the time to get the edges of the top of the pool square with the house so i was out by about an inch that's that's pretty good you know, can't complain about that. And, you know, what they're going to do is here comes the plumbing, start, you know, putting in pipe, the two main drains, which are connected through a T to one, and it comes out of the pool. Uh, we'll talk about plumbing a little later. But uh, so at this stage of the game, you put in the plumbing for the main drains, the uh, the two skimmers, the water leveler, the um the bubblers, all of that stuff, your returns, everything goes into the pool in this stage. And you can see here, guys are still just getting getting things ready, getting things, you know, in the pool, it installed the uh, plumbing. Now these guys right here are about to work on the skimmers, the two the two skimmers that go in the swimming pool. They'll find. You know, the depth, all this has to be set correctly for the water line tile. All this has to, to be done perfect. And they're just taking measurements too, just making sure that everything's right. Working their way around. Uh, it's kind of boring at this stage, but you see these strings that these guys are putting in. They're checking my depth, that I, that I, my dig depth. And there's, they're doing, they're doing very little handwork. This, uh, I was able to dig this pool almost perfectly. And right now they're digging out for both of the skimmers. And the skimmers are the part of the pool where the, the plumbing system on the way to the filter through the pump takes water from the pool. So your skimmers have to be set right. You need one towards the shallow end, one towards the deep end. That's what these guys are doing right now. They're digging the dirt away to install the skimmers for the gunite. Right here in this part of the video, you can see that's Brantley right there. She is the designer of this pool. So she and I are just doing some measurements, checking to make sure that our retaining wall, there'll be a retaining wall from where I'm kneeling down here to where she is all the way along the back side with two waterfall features in it so we're, we're just kind of laying all that out right now making sure everything's right she's here on site looking at the pool basically making sure that i as the installer build the pool to how she designed it this is her vision her pool i didn't design this i'm the builder uh, so this is the stage where you know it fix it now or it's going to be very expensive to fix it. So that's why she's here. Checking measurements, checking, just checking everything. It's important, it's very important to make any changes at this stage of the build before the gunite is sprayed. So that's why she's here. Now in this next clip, this next phase of the video, you can see we've got all that established. Pool looks good. 
I passed with flying colors. Uh, everything's great. These guys are now installing all the rebar. We use number four rebar on 10 inch centers throughout this entire pool. Bottom, sides, Baja, beam, everywhere. This thing is loaded with rebar. It's probably, I think we use 250 pieces of rebar in this pool. This pool is 37 feet long by 15 feet wide, five and a half feet at the deep end with an eight foot flat bottom that transitions up to a three and a half foot shallow end, then up again to an eight inch depth Baja or lounge area. <clears throat> it can also be called a lounge. It's just a very, very shallow, shallow end. So you can put your lounge seats and have your beverages or whatever you choose to do there um, and not lose that space to a complete shallow in this you know three and a half feet you can see uh, we're almost through with the rebar uh, we got we got to still do the sides and whatnot but i'm trying to shorten this video to where it's just not insanely long and i don't want it to be boring this is the first real video i've ever done other than little short facebook posts and whatnot so what i'm trying to do is create a youtube channel that showcases all the different work that I do in hardscape. I'm a licensed contractor by trade that specializes in hardscape, swimming pools, you know, everything on the exterior of the house from driveways to retaining walls, um, the whole nine yards, all of that. That's, that's my specialty. It also includes flat work, flagstone, stonework, brick. I'll, I'll do all of the, the coping travertine concrete around this pool um, we do bluestone um, retaining walls segmented retaining walls solid concrete retaining walls you'll see all that in in my future videos this video is basically just to kind of show the the beginning phase of digging the pool here i'm rolling out this copper wire this wire has to go completely around the top of the swimming pool and be uncut all the way around the beam this is per the inspector's instructions all the way around the beam um, one continuous run and it must come out and loop into the rebar that's going to be tied into the pool deck so i will try to go ahead and end the video in a way that you'll be able to be ready for the next video you can see here when well, my camera's dirty i'm trying to get my camera set up this is the beginning of the gunite process you can see the plumbing's installed all the rebars in guys that are here the contractors gunite guys are here protecting the house from any of the gunite that's going to overspray we don't want to stick that crap all over the side of the house so they're just kind of getting set up so we're getting close to the end of the video because the next one will be the gunite process so I'll show you uh, just real quick the installation of the copper wire around the beam and then you can see it here it's tied around and into the rebar the entire way all the way around the pool and you can also see these piano wires that are stretched tight that is the edge of the gunite and I'll explain that in the next video so thanks for watching